Welcome back my dear light bulbs to another anime review. If you're a new viewer to my channel, remember to subscribe to become part of the light bulb army. So I know this anime series has a lot of controversy surrounding it and for good reason. There will be some spoilers in this review, some major, some minor. So right off the bat, if you just want to know, should you watch this series, I'm going to tell you this right now. If you have five other anime that you have on your watch list that you got to watch, watch those five anime first then get to the series. If you have time to watch a new anime series that so far has 20, 12 episodes and then the other 12 episodes of the core will come out later this summer, then watch this anime. If you have five movies you gotta watch, five TV series you gotta watch, watch that first because this anime, it's not horrendous to watch, is what I'm trying to say. Like, It's a decent series for what it is. It doesn't break the norm of anything. It sticks to the more traditional shonen norms. What do I mean by this? Uh, fighting enemies with friends, getting stronger by training. You know those norms, it, it plays it safe. Like I haven't seen anything in this anime at all where I'm like, oh wow, that's new and unique. That's new and unique. Like I haven't seen any of that, right? It, it, it takes a lot of elements from different series, a lot of inspiration, and just makes it its own thing, which is completely fine. There's nothing wrong with that, but it's a series that plays it safe. Now, the negatives with this series, one, the animation is horrible. I don't know who, where they're getting this animation budget, so the studio is ACGT. I don't know if they're outsourcing the animation or anything like that, but when an manga gets an anime adaptation normally you want your manga well it's not up to the creator normally you want the manga adaptation into the anime to be really good but for some reason i don't know if studio acgt doesn't have the money or what it is but i'd rather take instead of still frame cgi animation in some shots than this come on like you could literally make the monsters the kishin CGI monsters, that's fine with me. Like, it's just it's just monsters. But when we have multiple times in different episodes, like literally still images, <laughs> just images of stuff happening, I'm just like, come on. So that's one of the biggest downfall of it is the animation. Uh, it's just lacking, it's lacking, especially for 2022 standards. Number two, um, I'm not a big fan of the intro. The intro song is very mid. I'm sorry, that's how I personally feel. The outro is actually better than the intro song, which is kind of hilarious. And looking at right now, Studio ACGT worked on some other anime like Eden Zero, and then a certain scientific accelerator and some other stuff. And I'm just, I just, I'm just not understanding why the animation is not too good in for this series. I know I'm going back to animation, but let, let's move past that, right? We can move past that. The other thing with this is the story is, it's just all right. It's just an all right story. It's not like uh, breathtaking. All right, enough with the negatives. <clears throat> what did I actually like about the series? I like this series because they use katanas, they use swords. I'm a big fan of swords in anime and manga, and this that's really cool. Two, they got powers, the, they, they literally, the swords, they're special swords with powers based on a person's soul, I thought that concept was really cool. And I also like the concept of where the sword chooses the bearer, like you gotta go through a trial for the sword to actually choose you, and if you fail, you cannot get that sword. The characters are likable, the main cast, we have Musashi, Sugumi, and Kojiro, they're all great characters. and. I, I, I like the direction the story is going, like it's set, like there's a goal in place where the end goal is seemingly to destroy the Kishin that came to Earth, that came to Japan all 150 years ago, defeat that one. They introduce like a bunch of Bushi bands are working together in a giant alliance to defeat different uh, Kishin from different islands and stuff, which will be a pivotal moment to i guess weaken the kishin from 150 years ago i don't know how that's gonna work maybe those were the original uh own well not only maybe those were the original kishin 
that the old number the first ever kishi that landed on japan's land um actually sent to conquer japan destroy a, a lot of japan and stuff so i really like that and then we got the side stuff we, we got some mystery we got the group of the black crystal you know that comes from their chest and stuff that's really cool we got the introduction of the five generals we also had the five generals in the past in the beginning of the series where they were like those five generals couldn't do anything but now this is the five generals of the present day which they are bushy warriors so they're really strong and we got introduced to a princess which her father they said is the strongest right now out of everybody so i'm really looking forward to that because the story is just not lit it's not just oh, okay this is the goal no it's, it's like this is the end goal then this there's this secret group here that's trying to take uh musashi which musashi's name is awesome you know awesome name because legendary swordsman back in japan uh a long 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 time ago and i like the dynamic between musashi kojuro and sugumi now going back to the episodes real quick i do gotta say there were some episodes that that woman i think that that smith's swords that makes the swords and stuff like those special blades what was she wearing why is my boy musashi wearing a a t-shirt or a shirt that's too small for him and then a some v-neck underwear <laughs> like what <laughs> okay that's one number two why does the smith she was from a, ba a band of bushi that's uh forges swords and stuff why was she wearing just underwear like i don't know <laughs> there's little fan service here and there but it's not bad uh obviously there's a big transformation in season one this is season one part one this is core one uh, when core two comes out I, I, i'll sit through it like i thought it was going to be worse sitting through this series but I, I was like, you know what? It, it's it was it was it was not that bad. It was not that bad. Originally, I gave it a six out of ten when I first started watching it because it was not that good. But after finishing Core One, I definitely will give it a seven out of ten. It's a decent series. I'm looking forward to see the protagonist become stronger. Yes, he has to. Oh, there's something inside of you which gives you power trope. But it's good that that person is sleeping right now so overall i like the series like i said before I, I i don't recommend you put this on your priority watching list i i just don't it, it's it's just it's just a showman it's just a showman